try to make the, the game uh, perfection. I try to make it a perfect game for myself. His way is to befriend them, to soften them up, uh, to try to feel, uh, make them feel like he cares about them, and then he goes out there and physically tries to destroy them. Van Gundy said that I was a con man, which I've never seen con man use in a, in a, in a polite or respectful way. For some reason, league-wide, it's important to be liked by him. I have no idea why. You take negative criticism in a, in a, I take it in a positive way to go out and improve the points. Not sure that uh, Michael will use this for motivation. challenge for me than a physical you know and that's one of the reasons that I still play the game because I can challenge myself Patrick is one of my best friends but yet at one point in time in that series I was ready to go blows with him well four twelve If Jordan's rage to prove himself inspired his teammates, it could also burn them. I've seen Michael come in a lot of times and you know, knock a wall of Gatorade cups and go off and say, if y'all ain't going to play, stay in the locker room. Phil Jackson was never the coach of that team. Michael Jordan was the coach. Jordan was the one who yelled. Jordan was the one they feared. Jordan was the standard they had to live up to. Michael is just, he's killing Bill Cartwright all the time. In the locker room, in front of everybody, Cartwright gets Michael aside. And he says, look, if you ever do anything like that again, you will never play basketball because I'm going to break both your legs. He said some things to me that I really didn't like and, um, and uh, I couldn't take it. If you let him ride you, he would ride you to the moon. He would ride you right out of the NBA and out of your mind. Phil put Steve Kerr opposite of me. But he was giving Steve all the calls. And I'm getting, like, really ticked off. So I started to play very, very physically. Well, Steve started giving me hard fouls. Next thing you know, I hauled off and just whacked him right in the eye. And then Phil threw me out of practice and I get home. <laughs> Going out there, we find it's headed out all over the place here. But more importantly, what in the world? And I think we had that same attitude. Jordan. A running conversation with Stacey Allen the hits. When you try to talk, yeah, that's the game. It's, it's a game of um, psyche now. Talking to Michael right now, you love to see it. He takes the sound on you, and then he tells you about it. Jordan and starts chatting with each other. They try to take it as a one-on-one -on -one competition to me, which totally takes away from their team concept. The one thing when you play against Michael Jordan, you not only have to stand up to him physically, you have to stand up to him mentally because he will torment you. I know how to play the game. I don't think they know how to play the game when I'm talking to them. trash you talk. We're going to talk the most trash and we're going to back it up. Let's watch Jordan. I think he's talking to uh, the tempo. I told him I was going to shoot this with my eyes closed. Ah, you want to But you never know. Now, I've done this before. 